Yeah. Really? Do you guys want to do stuff like this? And I'm going to kill both of them here. Well, hey, welcome to the four minute Finn guide. Finn is an assassin character, which means he specializes in speed and agility. This is even more important than it is with other assassin characters because Finn literally needs to keep moving to charge his moves. By running around, moves like his neutral special build up power, meaning standing in one spot will make Finn far less useful. Finn's side special, the Skronking Tackle, is one of his most important moves, if used correctly, because it allows him to move forward while blocking projectiles. Skilled players will try to keep Finn at a distance with projectiles, so careful use of the side special will let you get a lot closer to them. So to start off with his neutral, it's high five, dude. And basically holding the special button makes Finn reach back for a high five. Running around will charge it, and when you let go, he'll deliver the high five as an attack. His second is Skronking Tackle. It's a side ground move, and the Skronking Tackle is a brief shoulder charge, which bursts Finn forward for a shot distance. It isn't particularly a powerful move, and if you miss an opponent, you'll be left exposed for a short while as Finn recovers. For his third move, you have the Mathematical Air Dash. It's a side air move, and performing the side special in midair instead makes Finn perform this air dash attack. Learning the attack's range is key because it does more damage at the end, so if you can time your hit to just catch the opponent, it'll be more effective. And this has to be my favorite move. This is the Backpack Em Up. It's an up, ground, or air move, and this is one of Finn's most useful moves. Performing it makes him spin around with his backpack, causing multiple hits. His last hit is particularly st strong and can launch enemies a good distance if timed well. It's very similar to Link's up special in the Super Smash Bros game, but it adds an extra element of strategy with Finn's gold collecting gimmick. The more gold you have, the more powerful the final hit is, though if it connects, you'll drop some gold. This move is sweet deals. Perform this move and Finn will crouch down. You'll then be shown a small shop menu with three items for him to buy with the gold he's collected. The boots increase your team's movement speed and the booty buff gives you a projectile shield while charging attacks. Bemo is the most expensive choice, but buying him makes him walk alongside Finn. Pressing down special again makes Bemo attack, which can do big damage if it hits. Buying items obviously happens in real time, so you need to make sure you're on your own and far enough away from the opponents so you don't have yourself exposed. Throwing stones. It's a down air move, and if Finn has enough gold, performing this move makes him throw a gem through the air. The gem itself is pretty useless, but if you then perform a side special in the air, you'll quickly teleport to the gem's location. This essentially gives players a portable teleport device, which is useful for getting out of trouble or quickly moving to opponents who are trying to keep you at a distance. If Finn doesn't have enough gold when this move is performed, he'll instead pull out and eat an apple, which can be thrown at enemies to do a small amount of damage. So it's a win-win. On to perks. On the house is a great perk. It generates a free jam after connecting a fully charged ground attack, which you will be doing a lot. Wildcat Brawler, your team deals 5% increased damage with melee attacks on the ground, and that's also a 10% increase if your ally also uses that perk. Last Stand, your team deals 10% damage after reaching 100 damage and 10 damage earlier if your ally also selected the perk. Finn is super broken with triple jump. Especially if your teammate has it stacked with you, you guys will always have an extra jump. These are the most broken perks for Finn right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the guide and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day and also remember to go look in the description, my Twitter and my Twitch are down below if you want to watch me play Multiverses live and I'll also tweet updates and some other things on my Twitter. Also guys, please feel free to drop a comment. It really does help me and a like also. It, it, they, it's insane what it does. It, it, it makes me so happy. It makes me want to keep making content. Anyway, bye!